You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today and being Thanksgiving Day 2017. Depending on when you're watching this, I want to say thank you to everybody for supporting Lucky Penny Shop, watching the videos, and sharing them on social media, giving them a thumbs up, and subscribing. It's really helping Lucky Penny Shop. And today I'm going to check out the wherever popcorn pumper electric hot air corn popper now i picked this up in an estate sale for five bucks and thought well original in the box i like checking out these older hot air corn poppers to see how they work and then as i googled thanksgiving popcorn lo and behold a ton of recipes came up so i just picked one and thought, well, let me do that on Thanksgiving Day. So that's why I'm here today. Now, the popcorn popper, of course, pops corn with hot air, not hot oil. This is number 72000 condo. I don't know what that means. Maybe it was going to a condo for someone who bought it. There's one panel of the box. Sadly, the tape was ripped off all the way around. So my nice pictures on the side are no longer but you can see the corn popper automatically measures the right amount of corn every time fill the bin and then you flip it up and then it pours in and of course you get this fluffy popcorn and this one has a really neat little butter melter chamber in the back there's even a built-in butter melter for butter lovers that sounds better all right here we go lots to read here no oil means no messy cleanup the wherever popcorn pumper uses a stream of hot air to pop corn. Uses no oil. That means no messy cleanup. It's fast too. Three to four quarts in five minutes. Pops light, puffy, delicious popcorn with fewer calories and cholesterol. For butter lovers, there's even a built-in butter melter. It's so simple and easy to use. You can pop corn in the living room, a college dorm, your bathroom. No, didn't say that. Or in the den while watching TV. Includes instruction book with a whole, ba whole batch of fun popcorn snack ideas. And there are a bunch of ideas in there. But I thought, well, I want to do something specifically for Thanksgiving. But I'll show you the recipe book because maybe there's something in there you want to try. Alright, when I come back then I'll be taking this out of the box and setting it up. Alright, here we go. Based on the booklets here and the paperwork, which by the way was all in here really nice. The date, uh, well the year it looks like of 79 is on almost everything. Different. This is 5, this is 7. It could be some kind of printing number, but I will get that date. And these are the actual pictures that were on the side. Now you can get a better example of them. It's kind of neat that the little hang tag was still in the box so someone used it uh, this one's 8 of 79 I'll show you that in a little more detail in a second and here's a little butter warmer I noticed that the handles a little loose so I will fix that before I begin here is my popcorn popper it's a really nice bright yellow okay and then here is the lid the lid is actually two pieces all right, so looking at this, this goes into here, and you'll see deep inside here is a little hole. Uh, you're going to have a, it's got to be running to see it. I did clean this and just heated it up to see how it worked. And then now you set this like this, and then with uh, this going to the back, this is the front actually, believe it or not. You match up these three little notches, and that's really it. And then once the popcorn's poured in, Remember that flip lever? You just take this and dump. They call it the dump. All right. I think that's about it. It says use only two tablespoons of butter in there, and then that heats up. So I am set. Let me do this, though. I just want to pop some popcorn before I get to actual mixing of the ingredients for my Thanksgiving popcorn. So let's start popping. All right. Here is the first batch. Now I'll do this completely on camera with you. And I thought, well, let's just test a few things. One, I'll show you this in just a second. This has a nice measure cap with a half a cup. So we will see. I'm pretty sure it's accurate. I've used it before. I would say that's pretty close without dropping any. Maybe a few, but I think we're okay there. Here's a regular half cup with a nice little pour. So that's what I'll use on my popcorn popper. Yeah, it's pretty close. Maybe a few more kernels to top it off, but we will see. All right, and then this goes in here and it should hold it let's see yeah there's a little click you hear the click that locks it in so we should be fine all right and that's 
just a little bit under the edge there. Now, let me turn this on. Here we go. Time to start the air. Ooh, remember that sound? That is such a nice sound. All right, let's check this out here real quick. And then the corn popper that uses hot air, not hot oil. Here's the contents. And then, all right, so important safeguards, parts of the popper, operating instructions and procedures here, two to three minutes before adding popcorn if you want to better efficiency. And that's all the procedures there. Important. Uninterrupted trouble-free service. Helpful hint. So it might auto shut off. I think that's what they're... Will shut off if the unit is overheating. All right. Helpful hints, care and cleaning. And then look, here are some recipes for you. Seasoned popcorn, chili cheese topping or munch. Savory Italian cocktail snack had salad dressing in there. Just a little bit, but that's an odd one. Cereal with a difference. Natural munching. Super homemade popcorn crunch. Caramel corn, plain and fancy, and then replacement parts. All right, I think we're set. That is the booklet. We are just making regular old popcorn. And I will show you the butter melter, but here we go. I'm going to drop this in now. Here, we can bring this a little bit closer this way. And then watch it spin, all right. Batch number one, let's see. Nice. That worked good. All right, let me get you a nice shot in there and then I will come right back. Actually, let's see, maybe I can just do it like that. Yeah. I'll put the bowl out there.
we go. I thought that machine worked out really well. It did auto shut off in the middle of the third batch, so that was one thing, and I just waited another five minutes and restarted, and then it worked fine. Now, you're probably all saying to yourself, why did he use such a small bowl on every batch? Well, one, it fit the theme, right? Thanksgiving, a nice wood bowl. Two, it was handmade by my dad, so I thought I'd get that on video for you all to see. And three, I just thought it looked cool as it was popping everywhere, landing on the tabletop. I do have bigger bowls, as you can see, in the far right. Now, I'm not going to measure out the popcorn just yet. It does call for 15 cups of plain popcorn. This one, if you saw how well that butterer worked, is now buttered and salted, and it's very crispy. Here, I will show you how crispy. You don't get that spongy, chewy kind of popcorn. It's very crispy. Oh, okay. Enough of that one. All right, here we go. Now, it says just to put all the ingredients in and then bring to a boil, but only stir briefly, okay? So first things first is three quarters of a cup of sugar, one and a half sticks of butter, and it wants it chopped up, so I will do that. It's already pretty soft, but we will have to just run with what we have. This is not even a knife. It's just one of my little mini tools. So as you can see, I'm trying to theme the day for Thanksgiving. I don't really have a lot of Thanksgiving decorations. It's not a video that I would normally do, Thanksgiving series. So I brought in one of my cool penny trays, which I may have shown a long time ago, but it's got pennies in it changes and they move around in there it's pretty neat but you can't see it on the camera it's like depth i think that's what this one is all right and then a quarter cup of molasses i'm not going to be too specific here i just want to get it in but we will see i might not even have a quarter cup i just thought hey that looks like a quarter cup I just think that's cool how that just shh, disappears in there. All right, I'll leave it at that. I think I can scrape out more later. You know, I have a spoon, but it's not the right spoon, so I'm just going to have to let that go the way that is. And then a quarter cup of corn syrup. I'm going to use the same thing because we're not looking for perfection here. We're just looking for a nice goopy mix to pour over our popcorn. Okay, that takes care of those. I will scrape this later. And then... Oh, pumpkin spice. Yes. Pumpkin pie spice. And it said one teaspoon. That's going to give us our major flavoring okay and then salt a quarter of a teaspoon I have a half here so I'll just do a little bit okay I think we got it all there all right now that just goes right on the hot plate so let me do that and then while that's cooking I'll be measuring out the popcorn all right, here we go. Now, remember, this is the largest bowl, so they wanted 15 cups. I'm going to move this into here, try to get those kernels. I don't want all those kernels. You know, when you start some of those air poppers, the bunch pop out, and then you end up with that. So let's dump that. So it said 15 cups, so we'll see 15 cups. That was two batches. Oh, let me start this here. We can get this going. Now it said just mix briefly. Here, I'll tell you. In a medium saucepan over medium high heat, bring the butter, sugar, corn syrup, molasses, pumpkin, pie spice, and salt to a boil. Stir briefly to combine the ingredients. So I will do that in just a second. There's one cup, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, 
Okay. We're just going to make it on the second bowl. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and the last one. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer now and go back to the big bowl. So that's about 15. We'll just add a little bit just for extra eating. There you go. Okay, so that's set. And I'll do that transfer before this is done. But let me just get a close-up here. This is not the easiest. These are not the easiest hot pads to work on because you don't really get a good sense of the temperature. So I will be making adjustments. Let's get this turned around. I feel it's getting hot. Okay, so there's nothing going on there. So I'm going to check back in and then I will keep you updated and we'll watch this melt down. Okay, I made the transfer of the bowl, so now I've got the popcorn in a larger bowl. This way I can shake it more and not be confined with space. So they want this to melt down, so I'm going to be really careful here. I'll keep checking back. Maybe I'll just let it record a little bit. That should be safe there. And then once it's done, after three minutes of boiling without stirring, it says, remove the saucepan from the heat and immediately pour onto the popcorn. Stir until evenly coated, spread the popcorn on a tray, and then I'm allowed to cook for one, I'm allowed, it says, allowed to cook for one hour, stirring every 20 minutes. So that's going to be a process. Okay, so not much more stirring. I don't really want a lot, but I feel like if I don't, I guess I could have put the butter on the bottom and then sugar on the top. It looks like it's going pretty good here. Let me turn it down just a little. Okay. All right, we'll see what happens. I'll keep checking back. Okay, here we go. Now I have it on a little sliding board there. Or, yeah, it's like a little plastic cutting board. Here is my popcorn transferred to the new bowl. So that once that timer goes off, it's six seconds. I must pour and mix. So here we go. Oop, that was the wrong way. That's off. All right, let me get this over here. I move this out of the way, and now let's do it. It smells good. We do that. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? I just want to eat it like that. It's supposed to end up like a crunchier, harder mix. It's almost, I guess, I'm like a, a brittle, but but 
but popcorn brittle. Okay, a little bit more. And then they said put that right on. Yeah, it's starting to harden up on the bottom already. You'll see chunks of hardened sugar coming out. Okay, and that goes right on the pan. I wonder if any of you are having your had your Thanksgiving meal yet? Probably not, because I release these really early, unless you celebrate a little bit early. So maybe later in the day you can grab all the ingredients and make this and have this. Okay. Okay. I dropped one. I gotta try it. Ooh, pumpkin spice. Really nice. All right, so here we go. A paper tray. Just said spread it out. Okay, my oven is set. Yeah, it's nice, gonna stick to make one big lumpy, and the oven's gonna heat it up even more and melt it all together. They should have had you put some pecans on that, huh? Would that have been good? See? When I follow recipes, I try to follow them exact, especially for baking, but this would have been good like that, like pecan pie, right? All right, let's head over to the oven and put that in. All right, it's at a real low heat, 225. This is my first mixing, let's just see. Okay, so it moves pretty good. Looks like it's a little sticky, but not bad, so I'll just mix it up. After this, I will just probably check back in on the last one, now that you know the process and what I'm doing. So that is the first 20 minutes, and then I will come back, and I think I have decided that I am going to add some pecans on half of this, just so I can see how that tastes as well. All right, I will check back. All right, second to the last time I'm mixing here. I thought it'd be good to Put my pecans on now so I get another 40 minutes of bake time. Everything seems to be coated real nice, mixed up. I'll separate this now. This will be the plain side and then I'm gonna mix in my pecans on this side. Here we go. For a little twist. Okay. All right, so when I check back the next time, I'll have this in the video booth and I'll be cutting it up and giving it a taste. Okay, there you go, fresh out of the oven. The tray is still hot. Let me show you now. I can just lift up a piece and it's like a bar almost. See how it all melted to the bottom? I got lots of toasted pecans in there. And as I was doing this, I was going through my refrigerator. I remember I had a carryover from Halloween, the Flying Cauldron non-alcoholic butterscotch beer. It is a cream soda. And I thought, well, that will make a nice color addition to this video. I gotta get some ice in this glass. And then I'll bring in a little plate here. How's that? So there you go. You can like cut it up and serve it like that. And then I will give it a taste and we'll see. Now, uh, surprisingly, the smell, I'm not getting a lot of the pumpkin spice, so that might be something if you really like that flavor to add a little bit more to your taste. Okay, there we go. That came out nice. It is a nice golden color, just like my dessert. And it does kind of look like that kind of beverage. Look at that, the color on it. But it's non-alcoholic, everybody. All right, here we go. I am going to now try it. It's very light and crispy. Mmm. Mmm-mmm. 
I just hit a pecan. Oh, look at them all down there. I mixed it pretty good, but they still sunk to the bottom. All right, let me try this here. I was thirsty. I had to wash all that down. Ooh, that is nice. That's a really a good combination, actually. All right, let's see if I can just pick this side up. Look at that. There is a big sheet of it, non-pecan side. Well, that's what they said. You can either break it up or leave it in clumps. All right, here's a nice big piece. Look at it. And it's still warm. All right, so there's plenty of time. If you're watching this video early in the morning for Thanksgiving, to grab those ingredients. I'll put the directions and the recipe down in the description area. It's hard not to keep eating it. All right, thanks for watching. Hope you had a video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great Thanksgiving day. And if you can give the video a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. Share it on social media. Leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.